you see a property, two bedroom apartment, the same location, going for 80 something million, and one's going for 60 million. There should be something wrong. Yeah. Because if they're in the same location and they have the same title, that means one is of good standard and another yeah, one is substandard. Yeah. So we also need to be careful. But I think some clients today also prefer the cheap ones. Well, yeah. Cheap has its consequences. Exactly. And that's the thing that I always like to tell people like, if you show me something of 10 million and I feel like, oh, I can get it for 6 million, I will run yes. to which is really bad, which yeah. is what is killing us as, 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 as individuals. Africans. They don't invest in real estate based on familiarity, which is very good. Yeah, it's good. Somebody recommended someone. Is the person a professional? How long has the person been doing this it's thing? business. You want to invest 1 million, 100 million, 1 billion. Are you sure the person knows what he's saying or the person just wants to make a book out of you? So you have to be careful. Excitements are always high whenever we're here. It is The Real Talk with BRG. And of course, my name is Ria Abdul. Today, we're going to have more than an explosive conversation. I'm going to be talking to two amazing ladies. And when it comes to real estate, you can call them the gurus of real estate. Mm -hmm. But you know that I don't do this alone. Of course, Sarah Smiles is right here with me. Thank you very much, Ria. And... We have amazing guests in our midst. To my immediate right is Pastor Geraldine Odia. She's an amazing woman in the real estate industry and also very exceptional. And to my far left is Miss Lulu Ugwebula. Yes, I got your son right. Yeah, you tried. <laughs> I tried. And you know that these two women are very special to me because I love seeing women just do amazing things in their yeah. various fields. Yeah. So I like to say to Pastor Geraldine, congratulations on everything you do. We love you. You're a superwoman, and Ooh, keep putting yeah. all that work. And to Lulu, you know that you're so amazing. You do everything gracefully, and yeah, that's what we love you. about you. And that's why Thank we have you, you right here on the show. But to the pastor, I'm definitely going to put you on the spot. <laughs> I've never had a pastor on this show, so yeah, hey, actually. Guys, Never. <laughs> so just, gonna, just let's do like some small prayer. I am. <laughs> Thank you so much. There's always a first time, and uh, since today is the first time, I'm mm -hmm. most honored. This is treasure. I, I just dug up something. So thank you. Mm -hmm. pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. It's quite rare. So she, she said she has thrown a challenge mm -hmm. to me, and I'm willing to. Mm -hmm. So let's pray. Okay. Okay. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank Amen. you for such a day and a time as this. Thank you for the purpose for which we are here in the studio today. Thank you for the audience that will be watching us from all over the world. Yeah. Thank you for the different reasons, the different questions they will ask, inquiries, criticisms, even backlashes they have in coming to them right now as they are watching. Thank you, Lord. We thank you because we know that every answer will get to them thank at whatever Amen. level. Amen. And Father, we thank you for every one of us here in the studio who will say the right things Amen. that would matter. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Richard, mama! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The first yeah. time we have a pastor right here. So I feel blessed. I feel the I know, Holy right? is in this I feel like studio. a prophet. But today we're talking about something quite very vital in the world of real estate. Mm -hmm. In the world where everybody wants to do real estate, everybody wants to sell houses, how do you identify right. the trusted ones? How do you know you're not buying a house from somebody that you go to the building and they tell you that ah madam you don't pay for house here oh. <laughs> and that's why we have these two amazing ladies to talk to us and tell us how to identify a proper and a true real estate company i'll start with you lulu <laughs> you know as a seasoned realtor you know what are some of the things you to pick to know that okay this real estate company is trusted Okay, so that's several points. So I'm going to just mention a few so that mm -hmm. uh, my fellow passenger yeah. can continue from that. Okay, so first, for starters, I know that we have several real estate development companies out mm -hmm. there and everybody's doing real estate now because they feel like that's where to mm -hmm. fall back yeah. on when it comes to the foreign exchange and all that right now. So, um, and also hedging their funds. So for starters, you, you would have to do like some background checks on these real estate developers, the companies I, I am referring into actually so you have to find out when did they start what are their past um past uh, records what have they done in the past you have to also visit some of these projects to be sure that okay it is what they've said on paper is actually what we can mm -hmm. find on ground mm -hmm. and then you also have to do some investigations as well find out from a couple of people that have actually subscribed to some of these mm -hmm. properties find out what is it that you think mm -hmm. what do they think about this project is it something they want to go into again do they want to also buy from this same 
same companies anymore um, going forward. Yeah. Yeah. And then they'll tell you their responses. And it doesn't just end there. You also go to the um, um, Keja, Alausa, mm-hmm. where you do a couple of verifications as well. And you do some due diligence on the brains behind the brand. Mm-hmm. So just, just a few factors you I just want to mention. Let me have here, uh, uh, yes, if you want to, you've made up your mind that this is what you want to do. There are some basic things you need to do and to know. First of all, why do you want to even buy this property? Why do you want to invest in real estate? Because if you don't understand the purpose, you might be frustrated. Yeah. You will not be able to follow the FAQs from the company, their policies, because it's affecting mm-hmm. you as an individual. So, But if you know the purpose, why do I want to do this? Am I ready for this? Then when you get that, you need to find out who. The who in real estate. Yeah. Who is the owner of the company? Who are people that work there? Are they the ones that would hit mm-hmm. today and then they disappear tomorrow? Mm-hmm. So you need to be very careful. These two points are very salient. Besides knowing the property, the size, the location and all that, you need to know the purpose and who is involved. Thank yeah, you. Well, the, in the case where, I mean, people that want to buy real estate, they want to buy a house, for example, they can be like, it can be a lot of process. This can be a lot of process. Mm-hmm. And also for developers, how do you identify fake developers because there are lots of them out there plus it might be too um stressful for them so how can you know how can what can how can we balance it in the case where we have a body or the government or make it very seamless for them basically and how to identify the fake developers as well so they won't fall victim yeah, I would say this is it's not a negative, you know, outcry from me to Nigeria. We have not quite gotten it well. Okay. We have not hit the mark in terms of the country, you know, embracing the real estate and putting some measures in place to ensure that some certain things don't happen. Mm-hmm. But be that as it may, you're not going to stop. But you say, okay, mm-hmm. I want to wait for the federal government to mm-hmm. you paint paint the sky red before I go into it. You're already already. So just look for the you know some people will say. The teeth should be properly in place and the dots should be properly mm-hmm. in place. You need to check mates, uh, the people that you want to invest with. Mm-hmm. Number one, what is their language? What mm-hmm. are they communicating to you? Because some packages are too, they are too, they are too bogus. You know that this thing is, you, you, you need to do your search. If, for example, you want to buy something in Lekki and, um, I've had a situation, if, if I can talk about yeah, that, sure. I've had a situation where a client contacted me to buy a, an apartment, two bedroom with a BQ. And as at that time, it was priced 95 million. And, you know, they just went on and on. And at the, at the end of the day, I heard that somebody had told them that there was some for 59 million in Lekki. I had to, you know, I had to push up, do yeah. a lot of talk, mm-hmm. but they didn't listen. They they eventually bought the house. And as I speak, that was in 2000 and I think 20, 21 there, but they even bought a three bedroom apartment. Mm-hmm. They are still fixing the house. There's always something wrong with it. Wow. They spent over, well over the amount they would have invested in this yeah. one that would have given them peace. So that is just a minute you know, um, thing that you need to do to check, make yeah. yourself mm-hmm. and then to check the markets and know where you're going into. Yeah. I know that Miss Lulu has yeah. some. Yes, yeah, I have a lot, that. actually. <laughs> I have a lot to say. Yeah. So I would say, um, for starters, that is why we're in BRG. Mm. BRG does all the due diligence. For instance, I'm a portfolio manager. It doesn't just end there. We don't just post anything we see. We ensure that we do proper due diligence first on the property. Mm-hmm. And then secondly, before we sign up any partner, we also do proper due diligence on these partners. So we sure that they're not coming to just run away with the money and they're exactly. also going to deliver quality mm-hmm. structures not structures that today you buy and tomorrow you're spending money that's actually like um negative economy for me that's negative yeah. investment because yeah. you've bought this property for x amount of money and then you're spending so much money again yeah, on that same property so it's not actually worth it so from what pastor jardine said you see a property two bedroom apartment the same location going for 80 something million mm-hmm. and one is going for 60 million there should be something wrong yeah. because if they're in the same location and they have the same title that means one is of good standard and another yeah, one is substandard, substandard yeah. so we also need to be careful because i think some clients to the hotel prefer the cheap ones well, you- Cheap has its consequences. Exactly, and that's the thing that I always like to tell people, like, because you see something, because I would, if you show me something of 10 million and I feel like, oh, I can get it for 6 million, I will run yes. to 6 million, which is really bad, which <laughs> yeah. is what is killing us, us as, 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 as individuals. Yes. But, you know, exactly. talking about this, recently something happened, we're definitely not going to mention the name of the real estate company because I don't want anybody to beat me right here. <laughs> but something <laughs> happened and it's just sad to see that, you know, the man had suffered giving all his money and this particular brand had not given him the house. And this brand I'm talking about is a very big brand. So, so 
sometimes when we even say no to people, like this man is well known, like mm-hmm. they know him, they, uh, yeah. people uh. can stand for him and all. But the video was circulating. This man was crying. That, you know, give me back my money if you. And it's just really sad to see that even in 2024, people are still going through this in real estate. And you know, in some cases, these developers are actually doing all. They are doing the right things. Like they go through the right um, procedures, but then these people that are in high esteem, that are mm-hmm. placed in high esteem, mm-hmm. they are they already cut corners, and then the person, or maybe not developers, but the people that make this, because you know there's something that government they do. I don't know, but you can um, help me out. They go ahead, they do the building approval, they check the property before they even start, but they check the soil yes, they and do all soil of the soil, 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 soil test, soil test everything. and everything mm. to check if it's worth building upon or if they should just pend it for now. But then they, after checking and they realize that this is not worth building or like stop this project, they still go ahead, cut corners, and then they put the blame on those people doing the inspection. And yeah, that's why I said that Nigeria, we've not quite hit it on the mark mm. yeah. in terms of real estate and all that. And to add to what she said, there are so many other uh, things that we have to do. She mentioned that the person is a well-known person. Yeah. Yeah. It really doesn't matter if you know the person or the person is popular. Oh, he has a lot of money. You have to check the pedigree, mm-hmm. the deliveries. You have to check. You have to do your background check because a small company might actually be better yeah. than the, the, the brand the, name, the, the, just yeah. like you mentioned. Yeah. Yes. So that you don't waste the, the dollars, the pounds, yeah. or the naira. Right now, we know that the dollar is not smiling. Thank you. Not <laughs> smiling. But well, let's not. talk about overselling, you know, okay. when it comes to real estate companies, like overselling. Mm-hmm. You know, is it greed? Yeah, I think I think, I think it's like, too I much. Think it has, that has to do with greed. Mm-hmm. When it sometimes comes to it's oversight too. Okay. Sometimes it's oversight. Sometimes. So that's when they don't have proper structure. Sometimes now, yes. when they don't have proper stru- that structure, that means they're not even checkmating how mm-hmm. much plots have been sold, mm-hmm. uh, how many units have been sold. Yeah. Say, so, oh, okay, so this is what has been sold. Can we take this out of the market? Or mm-hmm. probably know this is what, how many units or how many plots we need to sell yeah. next. So that like proper structure, most of the time, is from that. Yeah. And then sometimes it's actually greed because mm-hmm. it's just one. More money, more money. They see the cash flow yeah. is really and interesting, it's, it's, and they just keep get, they get carried away, and then they sell. They, in their head, they probably think, "Oh, uh, once we have a sale, we have mm-hmm. another estate, we can move them to." Yeah. And that is not what the clients signed up from mm-hmm. in the, from the, from from the so one actually. So yeah. that's actually wrong. So I think we also need to. It has to do with like Pastor Jardine said, the pedigree. Who is this person? Mm-hmm. What are their What are their uh, intentions of going into this business in the first well, place? Can you really find out? Because some of them, I really cover it up. You yes, can. we can. You can. You can oh, find out. Think when it's you visible, dig deep, you, you can. Definitely Very see. visible. You That's can. why you need to consult yeah. uh, uh, an experience. Um, Real estate consultant, not just anyone, not your cousins, brothers, neighbors, <laughs> friend, wife, sister. Mm. No, it's not. You don't buy, you don't invest in real estate based on familiarity, which mm-hmm. is very good. Yeah, it's good. Somebody recommended someone. Is the person a professional? Mm-hmm. How long has the person been doing this, this thing? business. You want to invest one million, 100 million, one billion. Mm-hmm. Are you sure the person knows what he's saying or the person just wants to make a book out of you? Mm-hmm. So you have to be careful. In add, adding to what you said, sometimes, as she said, sometimes it's greed. Mm-hmm. I, I said sometimes it's oversight. I said sometimes it's promissory buying because now I want, I, I, the, the, the federal government has sold uh, maybe like 100 plots to me. And they told me that, oh, if you pay for the 100, we can give you another 100. Extra. So because of that, I oversell. Mm-hmm. Then when I go back to the government, they said, well, the land is not of all the community or the family they said the land is no longer available or it's not available at that price so that becomes a problem yeah. and the oversell is now then if that happens that can happen i'm not excusing anybody that you know wants to commit fraud or anything yeah. that can happen to a company a genuine company mm-hmm. but it's now the level of communication and your honesty sincerity mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. comes to play Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Communication is very important because I yes, think actually, when yes, such yes. case happens, you need to carry the clients along. along yeah. You need to carry them along and let them know that, oh, okay, you're being straightforward and you're telling them the way situations are mm-hmm. at the moment. Yeah, I like that she mentioned that real estate is not about familiarity because I feel sometimes, yeah. oh, my sister's brother, my yeah. uncle said that this thing, and you get it, you need to take like the appropriate people to check it. Exactly. And I yeah. and I feel like you just hit the nail on the wall. That's a, yeah. a good one from you. Thank you very much. So, um, you know, with regards to what you said, about getting um, the landed property in the aspect of can it be that maybe because of the realtors you know doubling up like five agents on the row can that actually also be a reason why you know a development company will oversell 
Yes, it can be. Even the realtor can be the problem. Because if a company has, you know, sometimes communication like um, Ms. Lulu mentioned matters a great deal. The company might have closed up sale, but they've not communicated to the public, yeah. Yeah. to the realtors that the sale is closed. Then, of course, some realtors, because they know their client wants to buy 12 plots, for example, or wants to buy five units of housing. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the company has said, well, we are going to get more, yeah. but it's not available now. They don't tell their client that. They do like, yes, I just, just go ahead and pay and for the 500 million plots mm. and then the, the the client pays and is rest assured and documents are issued mm. and okay presentation of the land where allocation comes in is now an issue yeah, exactly. so that can be a borderline for uh, for a lot of issues court cases yeah. you know personal grievances and so on yeah and it's so beautiful that we get to have this conversation on that's why we call it the real talk with brg because yeah. all we do here is the realest the real yeah. talks and i'm just happy that we're talking about this as well but let's move into something that i feel like we see it a lot and you guys we are all ladies here yeah. girl power we gonna say it. girl power but right now we've seen the surge of ladies in the real estate world every lady wants to go into real estate I think I'm the only one left out but I'm considering maybe you have joined us here. I know right but tell me like we hear they get into it. I'm going to start with Miss Lulu. They get into it for so many reasons. You know, the ones that... Let me help yeah, you. Let me help you. Right here know. in the heart the of Blackie. Have... And then we have five bedroom duplex. Let me show you. And then they're, they're not showing you the houses, but they're showing you <laughs> something else. <laughs> you know, and mm -hmm. a lot of people want to get into the world of real estate and especially yeah. women. As women that have been in it, you know, you've seen the in and out of it. I can say that you people are like the bosses when it comes to real estate. Yeah, you know? What would you say is the reason for this? Okay, I think uh, most people don't uh, misplace priorities, I guess, mm -hmm. one. And then yeah. secondly, they're not getting to the business for the business itself. They're getting to the business because you just want to make money and that's it. Mm -hmm. So now that's where the problem comes in. When you're getting to the business, you just want to make money and you do not have any product knowledge. Yeah. You do not know anything. You're not seizing. Yeah. You just sell for selling sake. Mm -hmm. Then the problem will come after you afterwards. After yeah. some years or some months, it will come after you. Now for the ladies that have the like, big dairy and all that, mm -hmm. they, oh, they want well, to sell they really sell? I think they <laughs> no, do I think sell. some they of do them some do some sell. <laughs> Even the ones the pastor, the pastor, they like, sell something, some of them do sell. But what I know is the influx of the female gender with the other side moving into the market, I feel like some of them won't last okay. because mm, they're not yeah, in the sure. business for the business. They're just in there for the money. Now, the thing is, they feel like selling is easy. Selling ain't easy. It is not easy. Mm. So by the time most of them stay for like a couple of months, they don't sell. You find out that they'll show you another business that they're doing that's yeah. either selling clothes yeah. or doing something else. And then when you show the other side that God yeah. has blessed you or man has blessed you with, mm -hmm. most clients might not come for that purpose. Mm -hmm. You're not exposing yourself to so many other stuff. Like some of us have been in the business for over 10 years and then we're still here yeah. because we're mm -hmm. in the business for the business. In the business for the, for the business. business. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. just for the uh, the 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 show, the, the show or, or the show or the conversation <laughs> part of it. No. But another thing I've also noticed is that the influx of women, some of them, I feel like I'm not hitting on anyone. Most people that are divorced and probably you find out they were not doing anything before now. Yeah. Single, parent, single parenting single as well. Parenting. They come in. Some of them, that's the next industry they just want to move into because we do not have the um, the right bodies for now. So, and I know that Lagos State government is putting it's that in place already, already yeah. working to ensure that everything is regulated. So definitely the ones that are not in for the business will fall off. And what I in for the business will remain. All right. Now, I, I don't quite agree with that. Uh, the, the reason being that uh, is the audience that dictates. And I'm sorry to say, the guys that are watching us, I'm not particularly talking about you. This is what you are looking forward to. Mm -hmm. You don't hear if it's five bedroom. You don't hear if it's four. <laughs> What you're hearing is something. Don't mind the fact that I'm a pastor. It's something I see all the time. You're looking at the backside. You're looking at, oh, she's Outside. fair, she's and dark. Oh, her hair is so long. Before you even hear, by the time your wife is asking, or oh, your friend is asking, so how many will say, ah, well, let me watch it again. Uh, because it's the audience <laughs> that actually dictate these things. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not, of course, I'm not supporting this. Yeah. I'm not. I've had a client that, you know, the, the wife reached out to me. I didn't know them before. They, they, they found me on Facebook. And she had a complaint that the videos that the husband was watching <laughs> consisted more of all these short skirt wearing, you know, showing yeah, uh, showing the cleavages and you no know, gesticulating with all the hand, punch just <laughs> moves and all that. And she wasn't yeah. quite comfortable. And they've been 
uh, you know, patronizing, um, investing through this lady, and they had to cut her off just because oh, of wow. that reason. And that. that's why, I, as I die here, I got my biggest seal because of that reason. Wow. <laughs> and wow. I, 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 I spoke with the the guy. I said, "Is not. I don't totally blame the ladies. Honestly, mm -hmm. I don't, because they have an audience, yeah. and the audience looks for. They look forward to this. Yeah. If we don't have an audience, if everybody is fanning upon it, I don't think people would do it. Yeah. Another, re another, another point I would like to draw is there's misplaced mis mis priority when it comes to people joining or coming to uh, work as a realtor yeah. because they feel that once they, they've heard, maybe, you know, you know see, uh, let's say Queen right here, uh -huh. and she'll be like, yeah, you know, I've one billion naira, do I, what? Yeah. What am I, what, this is my hair, let me use it yeah. and get something. <laughs> and then they come six months, one year, two years, they get frustrated and then they fizzle out. Yeah. But for some, that use whatever weapon they want to call it. <laughs> Some of them actually do so because yeah, I met one say. and yes, she's, she's even married. Say. She said, hey, I, once I turn like this, yeah. <laughs> she said, once like I turn fast up, the, the house show is because over. Of that. Yeah. Do you know, and to, yes. At least when they Some meet her, the, the, the problem now is when they now meet you, do you have anything to offer? Exactly. Do you have anything to offer? Because when they meet her, she's already married, she has children, and she loves her yeah. own, and she will be, but at the point of the video, she's, they're just luring you in. And when you come in, you are trapped. Yeah, but I tell you something, I, and I've met. Sorry, yeah, sorry to cut you. Yeah. I've actually seen ladies who have all that, mm. and then they have something up there. So when yeah, they meet yeah. their clients, Very, they're yeah. able to actually yeah. give them the right responses, yeah. the right yeah. answers. Yeah. So that's the thing. I was gonna say it. I'm like, even if you want to do that have something up yes that's the most important, that's the most important you know, thing because we're all women i was watching an interview with um mo Abudu and she spoke yeah. and then people were like oh um you we know what you did to climb your way to the top and, all that. and you know what she said she was like if you think that is this particular thing, thing. then it must be engraved with gold because mm. there's a point that that thing stops and your sense of will course. take you over mm -hmm. and exactly. i feel like that's what it, i know you guys know what i'm talking about yeah. but i feel like it's it's <laughs> high time that a lot of women need to understand that that even the body, there's a time that it will stop. Of like, course. what is upstairs? The value. It will definitely make way for you. Needs to yeah. take you upstairs. The value. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about BRG and the role they play. You know, Because we know that Bilonia's Realtors like, are one of the biggest in Africa. Yeah. Or safe to yeah. say, yeah. the, the biggest, biggest in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Safe to yeah. say yeah. that, yeah. biggest in Africa. So let's talk about the role that you know they are putting just to make real estate, the real estate world in Nigeria, a better one. Okay, so I would say um, before any brokerage, we had, it wasn't really regulated when it comes to dealing with realtors. And I would say BRG is actually the first brokerage firm um, to be in Nigeria, in Lagos, Nigeria, started in Lagos, Nigeria, and we we'll, we'll stood the test of time. Mm -hmm. And our leaders have actually led us right. And then our goal here is to ensure that first, um, realtors are protected. And then secondly, our partners are, are also doing the right thing. They're being checkmates to show that, okay, realtors and partners are doing the right thing. And mm -hmm. most importantly, our clients are happy. Yeah. So when it comes to BRG doing um, their impacts in the real estate industry, mm -hmm. they've done quite a lot, way a lot. Like for instance, realtors, for instance, we have the BRG Academy. Mm -hmm. We have where they can get trained. We have seminars. We have business opportunity trainings. We do that every quarter. We have um, trainings for newbies that we do that like three times in a month. Mm -hmm. One online um, or two offline, mm -hmm. right? You have yeah. to walk in. So we're consistent in training because we want our writers to be better. We want our writers to be different from other writers out there. We want them to be seasoned. We want them to know the right things, the right, the, the laws mm -hmm. that governs real estate mm -hmm. and also that governs them and also that of the developer mm -hmm. and how to protect their clients. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to regulations, BRG is doing every single thing that they can. And that's why we remain the mm -hmm. number one, one brokerage firm in Africa. Yes, so we're doing right. the we've been in the existence and others have come and mm -hmm. some of them are fizzled, some it's of them right, are standing, yeah. some yeah. of them are still there, mm -hmm. but BRG remains number one. And we're over a hundred thousand realtors. So that's a whole lot. So I think we deserve <laughs> a round of applause for that. Uh, Pastor Jared, what would you like to add to that? Yeah, well, uh, what I, I, I drew from what she said is, first of all, the concern, the purpose and the vision that the company holds there. And I, I know that it's, it was centered around, you know, bringing quality products, mm -hmm. quality service. 
and satisfaction mm -hmm. to a very, very large extent. And also protecting the rights of the realtors because mm -hmm. we didn't quite have, I'm not um, saying negating anything the federal yeah. or state government is doing. I'm just talking you know, singly yeah. about yeah. BLG, not generally. You know, there was, we, we didn't have a, 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 a governing body, so to speak, protecting the rights of the realtors. You know, a developer can do anything, say anything. If can say today, okay, I'm going to give you this, and then tomorrow he doesn't do it. Do and then mm -hmm. he can also say, I'm going to deliver this, and then tomorrow he doesn't do it. Nobody's holding it. But yeah. in BRG, if you're a partner company in BRG, and you, you know that you cannot get away with that. Mm -hmm. If you want to do that, we have to cut our ties with you. Mm -hmm. That's why we tell clients everywhere, if you see our realtors, you can invest through them. Through them. Yeah. Any property that uh, comes into our portfolio, you can be sh rest assured that we have done our thorough search due and due diligence yeah. on such companies or such products mm -hmm. or individuals too. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that there might not be, you know, black sheep of among course. the very of 10 course. white yeah. sheep you have. There might be mm -hmm. one situation here and there. Maybe you've even experienced some mm -hmm. and you're like, what is she saying? I know so and so that messed up. Yes, we, 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 we do correction. Mm -hmm. we, we ensure that whatever the situation is we meet you halfway if you can't get to the full yeah. we ensure that we we tackle we deal with the situation if it has to do with the court with the government and then we have not had any issue at all that is lingering yeah. because yeah. we always ensure that we yeah. face it and then we prefer solutions that are long lasting mm -hmm. so with BRG you can rest assured that rest that's assured amazing. Yeah. 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 the beautiful thing about it as well is that I love the fact that BRG has changed a lot of lives you meet yes. people in Ghana Kenya Zimbabwe and they are talking We're about all over BRG the world. they are all over the world <laughs> yeah. and it's just so beautiful I think um, the second episode I was sharing that you know I had met with somebody and you know this I, I couldn't even think this person can know BRG you know but you know and he's not even from Nigeria and I was like oh BRG they're changing yeah. lives and I'm like oh well wow. you know you guys are doing you know really good so big shouts yeah. to BRG <laughs> but still talking about real estate and where real estate has come to in Nigeria we know that it has come to stay right. you know we've seen a lot of people do well in real estate as well but in like five years from now you know where do you think I don't want to say, let me not say Africa, let me narrow it down to still Nigeria that we are. Like in like five years time, where do you see real estate? Do you think that it's going to be in a better place? Yeah. Well, most definitely. But I know most people think real estate is more cycle, um, centered around um, the commercial cities mm -hmm. like um, states, actually Lagos, Abuja, and Potako. Potako. But it's gradually moving into other mm -hmm. states like Oyo State, like Ogun State, mm -hmm. like Delta State, mm -hmm. Benin City. Like it's gradually spreading because mm -hmm. the migration is inevitable. And then there are certain people too that would not want to migrate to the big cities. Yeah. They also want to stay in their own city and do what they can to mm -hmm. develop their city. Yeah. So definitely real estate is something you cannot do without mm -hmm. and it's definitely going to keep growing big. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of lands that have not been tapped into yeah. in Nigeria. Like, in five years time, Lulu is like, ah, I know what you'll be controlling. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, Pastor, in five years, where do you see real estate at? First of all, I would like to say that real estate has uh, several genres. It's not one face. Yeah. Uh, there are so, several, a lot of aspects to it. Yeah. Uh, so, and because of that, you cannot really pinpoint and say, oh, it's going to go this way. Yeah. Because there are several, you know, strings that make, make it one yeah. or make it attach. But for BRG, I would like yeah. to talk about BRG. We are not just a selling and a buying company. There are so many yeah. things we do. We have a trainings, which Ms. Lula has rightly mentioned. Free trainings. We have paid trainings. Yeah. We have our, our knowledge center. We have our BRG Academy. We have our welfare for our realtors to ensure that mm -hmm. Whatever they are going through, challenges, we are there for them. We yeah. visit some of them. We talk to some of them through the phone. And then if they have celebrations, we are also there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Think of what we, our verse will be five years from now. And besides that, we have uh, BRG Foundation, BRG I Care. There are so many things that we do. So it's not just about selling, mm -hmm. you know, or, or selling for yeah. or, or, so or, or with. So there are yeah. so many things that we do. And I know that uh, from the much that we've been able to achieve, if we want to spread it broad to five years, we'll be doing 15 five yeah. years. Okay, okay. Years. I love that. But I know that our time is far short because we have to yeah. go. Sorry but... to cut you. With so many things that we see online, with so many stories, in, I mean, the aspect of what's going on, especially in Lagos, the demolitions and all, what role does the government play 
in that aspect. BRG is doing a lot already. But then in the aspect where there are some other assets that is not under BRG, what role is the, does the government play to regulate what's currently going on? Uh, for us, we are not in control of developers or development companies that are not partnering with us. But that we are not... Uh, we're not uh, far from it because sometimes some of our clients might want to invest in properties that are not with us. And when they have challenges, because I'm also a realtor, yeah. always a realtor, mm -hmm. you know, and when they have challenges, it's still you, they will call oh, this yeah. happened to me. Yeah. And then their problem becomes your problem. What I'll say about this is, it, it, this, this, this occurrences didn't start today. Mm -hmm. But I know that the Lagos State Government and the federal government, mm -hmm. they are putting a lot of measures right, in, place in place to place, ensure yeah. that we cope some of the very, very common issues we have. Um, house demolitions, then house collapse, mm -hmm. and then, uh, let me just call them, homolile <laughs> issues, yeah. community yeah, clash like issues with properties, even family issues with yeah. properties, overselling or, you know, selling lands that do not exist. Like somebody selling a Todd Milan Bridge as a land. You know, we've had, <laughs> we've had outrageous, yeah. outrageous <laughs> stories that you're like, really? But it does happen. So, like, I, sorry, yeah, I'm a pastor. There's, yeah. there's a God and aspect in everything that we do. Yeah. Even if you want to invest, you have to be careful. Mm -hmm. You have to be. So that they don't sell water for, to you as land, <laughs> yeah. you know, or sky yeah. to you as land. It's While you are busy, you know, too. looking for the discounts yeah. and all that, yeah. we really yeah. need to be careful. But watch out because we, I know, I know that there'll, there'll, there'll be a difference every yeah. month in this year yeah. and the following five years. Okay. I know that we're running short of time, but quickly, I want you to tell me like, what would you like to say to a lot of young girls that want to get into real estate? I'm going to come to you as well, but I want you to start, <laughs> you know, for young girls that have the aspiration to get, they want to be realtors, you know, what would you like to say to them? Okay, for starters, I'll just say as an individual, you should know what you really want. Don't get into real estate because you just want to get into real estate. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you like? Is this something that you're passionate about? Now, I know that there's a money aspect to it, but you need to be sure that you're passionate about it. Mm -hmm. When you don't make sales, what happens? Are you going to fizzle out or you're going to remain there? So if you're getting into real estate, you want to get into real estate. First of all, you attend trainings. You mm -hmm. attend free trainings for starters. Then when you start making money, you can attend paid trainings. And then you need to have product knowledge mm -hmm. don't just walk around and say i want to say something you do not have any product knowledge because that is why a client or a prospect will pick one with product knowledge mm -hmm. over you that do yeah. not have product knowledge so you need to be dedicated mm -hmm. you need to be dedicated to your business because if you take the business seriously it will take you serious okay. and then pastor Jared, but it's not only ladies who no, and also, it it's also good no, for some men. We have some men watching no, us. No, but, no, no, but today <laughs> is woman power. We're focusing on because we know that. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry. So sorry, guys. Because we know that, like we said earlier on, that yeah. it's saturated with more of women. women. Yes. So that's why we're speaking on so. women. So you as well. Uh, okay. <laughs> if you want to go into real estate or you're in real estate, be in it. Don't let it be... Uh, second option mm -hmm. and over whatever else you do. So if you're working, let that be 100%. If you're in real estate, let it be 100%. It means you're putting everything into it. Okay. You will not learn everything at once. Of course, we know. I started from somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, she did as well. And we are here today. So wherever, at whatever point you are, just be willing, open open up yourself to learn and be available, just like she, she, has, she has rightly said. If, for example, you're not within the location where the properties are, you don't get to participate in some of the programs or the projects that we 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 do in BRG, wherever you are, ensure that you're involved. I have someone in my team that that lives in the in the UK and someone else that lives in Canada. They do make sales and they have clients that they, you know, mm -hmm. they tend to over there. What they do is whatever we're doing, they are participating. Yes. The team they belong, which is my team, they, they we call, we communicate, and I reach out to them. If they have any clients and the property they want to see is in Lagos, even if it's in Abuja, there's someone there that will take them. Okay. So you have to communicate. Yeah. You have to be, you know where the properties are in maybe location in name, but you know you don't know it uh, on the site. But you can still do something about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't just sit and say, okay, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in Lagos, or I'm not in Abuja. What am I going to do? Yeah. You, wherever you are, you yeah. can still win as a realtor. Yeah. Exactly. That's well, I must say, I am really happy that I had the both of you because I have learned a lot, a lot from just sitting down here listening oh, to two of you. So thank you so <laughs> thank much. You so Guys, much. you know how we do it. The Real Talk with BRG. On this podcast, we talk about 
everything that will get you educated and everything that will let you be on the right path. Mm -hmm. That's why it's The Real Talk. It's been an amazing episode mm -hmm. with Pastor Jared Dale as well yes. as Miss Lulu. I need to give them a round of applause because this was beautiful. <laughs> but don't forget to watch our show, share it, like it because when you do that, you give me all the motivation to yeah. so beautiful and come here and talk to you. I'll catch you on the next episode. My name is Ria Abdul. Bye. My name is Sarah Smiles. See you on the next one.